guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm kind of just uh, here to talk about some uh, great steals and deals that I found at um, uh, Marshalls, Ross, uh, where else did I go? Target. <laughs> um, yeah, so just a quick little video just to kind of show what I got and I uh, just thought it'd be cool to share with you guys. So check it out. So from Target in the dollar section, I got this cute little picture frame. It says, love you, love you more. I thought that was kind of cute. Five bucks. And I also got another picture frame for five bucks in the Target dollar section. It says, you belong with me, I belong with you. If you can see up here on the wall, I have a big old collage of picture frames and stuff. And I feel like I could add these to that and they'd be really cute. Uh, okay. More Target. Alright, so. First things first. I love it. Um, this one's in First Flowers. I don't know if that's the scent or that's the brand. Um, I think it's the brand. Yeah, I think it's the brand. But anyway, First Flowers. Oh, it smells so good and clean and like, oh, I just love it. But uh, anyway, five bucks. Bouquet of Rose, I think. Anyway, I thought this was super cute. Um, I'm in the process of getting like a whole backdrop vanity type thing behind me, and I think these candles would be really cute behind it. Anyway, this was also five bucks, and this one smells like a stronger version of this one. I don't know how to explain it, but they're freaking great. Go check them out. It might be at the Target. Um, at Ross, I got this beauty sponge and holder. I don't know if the sponge is going to be worth anything, but I mean, I always try it. If I don't like it, I can like give it to my niece or something, but, um, I really liked it for the, the holder. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, probably to display as well or something. Anyway, I thought that was just really cute. So, and this was only $3.99 at Ross. Not a bad deal. Also at, uh, Ross? No, I think I got this at Bell's. I forgot about this. I did get some bales. Um, it's four nineteen, and I really got it for the eyelash curler, but it comes with a little mascara in it. Let me unbox it for you guys. I don't have anything to cut it with. Let's it. Okay, so it comes like this. Super cute, right? Look at that eyelash curler. It looks pretty good. It's super cute. Also to display in a little jar. Um, thought that was really cute. Um, this mascara. And tell me, does this not look like the um, packaging to the um, Tarte? Uh, I can't remember the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a really good eye, uh, mascara. So, I mean, I'll try it. And again, if I don't like it, I'll pass it down to my... Um, that's what the spoolie looks like. I'll pass it down to my niece or something if I don't like it, but you never know. It might be a little hidden gem. Anyway, um, also at, I forgot to include Bells. I meant to say Bells that way too. Also at Bells, I found, no, this is Target. Um, these little measuring cups. I know that's not beauty related, but I thought they were pretty freaking adorable with this like rosy gold and then like this marble finish. I thought that was super cute. And then also, same thing in the tablespoons and teaspoons. Okay, <laughs> yeah, like three bucks. Hello, I'm all about a deal. <laughs> anyway, um, also from where did I get these from? I'm wearing them because I just couldn't wait. I think these are Ross. No, maybe not Ross. Probably Bales. I think Bales Outlet. Um, I'm wearing them. I kept the price on just to show you guys. But anyway, these cute little like, I think it was, what's it, what are they called? Birkenstocks? I kind of actually hate Birkenstocks. I kind of think they're really not cute. But I found these in like a silver gold. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. Anyway, and I got them for $9.99. Cute. <sighs> anyway, what else? That was cute. Okay. 
and ask for the good stuff. Yeah, that was Bill's. <laughs> now for the good stuff. Got a big old Marshall's bag right here. It's big to me, but, you know. Anyway, uh, I got this dual action facial cleansing brush. Um, it says it evenly tones and exfoliates skin. I've seen things like this, um, like on other YouTube channels and things like that. And I don't know, I thought it was it's just a little little baby size from what I think I've seen on the internet. But uh, anyway, I just thought it kind of cool to try out. Um, and don't mind that I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. I'm going to do all that later. I have things I have to do and I just wanted to get this video done first. <laughs> but anyway. How cute is that? It's like rose gold. It's got these cute little, um, like a textured brush side. I don't know if that can also be used for foundation or not. I feel like probably not. Maybe just, I don't know, maybe. I should probably read more on it. How to use damp a brush, and a lukewarm water, apply to rich leather, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just for cleansing. Okay. And then there's this like um, silicone texture for maybe like more an abrasive or maybe this side. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I'll let you guys know if um this is a hit or miss in like one of my hit or miss videos or something that I have coming up because I am new to YouTube and um, I have a lot of plans. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Um, what else do I got here? Um, I kind of hit the jackpot on lipsticks, at least to me, because I don't buy a lot of these brands because I can't afford them. So uh, I'm a baller on a budget nonetheless. Anyway, so for Stila, which I don't know that I own anything by Stila, and if I do, it might be like a random thing here or there. Um, or because I got it in like a Boxy Charm or an Ipsy when I used to be subscribed to Ipsy. Um, anyway, so I got three Stila products. This is the packaging, and the first thing I got is a Glitter and Glow Highlighter Illuminator. I think it's meant to use on your skin like as a highlighter, but I kind of want to try it as like a topper for an eyeshadow because I played with it and it dries down pretty freaking good if I can get it out of the package. Um, anyway, this is the uh, packaging and it's like this, my lighting in here kind of sucks guys, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's like a light iridescent blue with like shifts of like pinkish. I don't know, it's really freaking cute. But um, anyway, this has me written all over it. Let me, and again, you're not gonna be able to see it in this. Uh, lighting but uh, yeah you can't really see it sorry guys um i'm in my living room because i had a whole room set up for me to start filming and start getting into the youtube thing but um we had a hurricane here and it hit and i had to move in my parents and my niece and it's just been a long story but anyway so i'm just making do with what i have but anyway so this is like the, the color shade is supposed to be in again i don't know if you can tell but anyway i thought that was really cute and it was only 7.99 and again that's probably 20 something dollars in store and i would not pay for that because times is rough anyway <laughs> i also got a stila stay all day liquid lipstick and again i don't own any liquid lipsticks for them this is in the color rico super pretty i love these dark dark plums dark purples i also love a lot of nudes anyway i thought that was really cute and this one was only $5.99. I'll swatch it for you. I'll put it right here on the back of my hand. Fork. Anyway, so that's the color. I thought that was really cute. Uh, I don't know if I told you yet, $5.99. Alright, another Stila product I got was Slay All Day Matte Matificent, Matificent Lipstick. Uh, this one's in called is called Jolly. Anyway, I don't use a lot of these. I'm usually pretty pretty stuck in my ways with liquid lipsticks, but again, I figured for $5.99, oh, why not try? You know what I mean? Plus, these are always pretty comfortable. It's just, I feel like with these types of lipsticks, I just have to touch them up more throughout the day. Oh, sorry. This is the packaging. Super cute. Don't mind my nails, guys. I had to rip them off. I couldn't go get them done, and they were getting crazy. So I ripped them all off, and they're all jagged mess anyway hot hot mess not cute anyway uh the packaging and then this is the color if you guys can see that super cute i'll do a little swatch a little, little swatch right there for you and 
that's the shade. Oh, I love that. I wonder if those two would be kind of pretty together, um, ombre, but again, I don't know if those two formulas would go together. Anyway, very cute. Good deal. Um, also, by Bite Beauty, I think this is the only thing I have Bite Beauty, and I'm pretty sure, let me see here. This is $5.99. Just, like, I've never bought anything from Bite Beauty. I think I've only got things like, um, in a sample box or something, but um, anyway, this is called Peacock Pearl. Anyway, I thought I was missing something to it because it's like one-sided, like this is the box. Anyway, and it looks like two things could fit in there. Can y'all see that? I don't think you can, but anyway, that's the, uh, I just thought maybe it was missing something. I mean, it was for Marshall, so who knows, but anyway, I thought this was super cute. And again, it's called Peacock Pearl. This is the packaging, it's like a, shift green purple blue type thing and again the lighting sucks sorry guys uh, this is super cute and maybe a topper on its own i don't know i really like it oh. anyway that's the color i'm gonna get better lighting i can't see it that's okay Anyway, so for Kat Von D, um, I got three lipsticks, and I do own quite a bit of Kat Von, Kat, Kat Von, Kat Von D, and uh, I know it's like controversial, blah, 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 but I like what I like, and that's all there is to it. Anyway, but I have never used these, what are these called? This box is all jacked up. Um, what the heck are these called? The Studded Kiss Lipstick Rouge? Anyway, this one's in the shade Piaf. Piaf? I don't know. Anyway, that's a box. Super cute. If it wasn't all jacked up, but whatever. Anyway, this is the uh, I just had the biggest brain fart. The tube? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this was I did play with it a little bit, so it's a little bit messed up because I was playing with it and I was showing it all off to my mom and whoever but anyway it's got the Kat Von D imprint there in the stick itself um it's like a dark vampy color and I really like that I'll put it right here for y'all I want to say there might be a little sheen in it like a like a, like a like a like a light like sparkle in there very almost unnoticeable but that's really pretty though anyway it's like a dark vampy color very cute, very, uh, very cute. Um, another Kat Von D lipstick, uh, Studded Kiss lip, uh, blah, 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 blah. Studded Kiss lipstick in neon, neon. Y'all, I'm butchering these names, and I know it. You ain't gotta call me out about it. Anyway, it looks like it's trying to say neon, but who knows? I don't know. That's the name. Can y'all see that? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. This was only four fifty. Oh, the last one was four ninety nine. I don't know why they were different prices, but whatever. Anyway, this one's a black. Yes, I'm super excited. Again, that's the tube, and it is it's a black uh, with a sparkle. So I think the other one was just like a vampy, like dark purple with a sparkle. This is just the black version. Anyway, same thing. Let me swatch it for you right here. Oh. It just melts my heart, literally. Anyway, and again, if I had better lighting and a better situation, you'd be able to see the sparkles in it, but it's just a typical black with a nice pretty sparkle. Anyway, very cute. Then I also have the color Coven. Coven? Coven? It's probably Coven. Anyway, same formula. What's this like a lilac or a, I don't know, just this pretty light purple? Love this. Love it, love it, love it. Swatch it for you. And again, I've never used these formulas. I'm really big on her liquid lipsticks, although they're a little drying. But anyway, I'll let you guys know if that this is something I like, if it's something to me. Freaking out over, I'll come back to y'all on that. Anyway. Um, from Lipstick Queen? No. Yeah, Lipstick Queen. 
I don't own a thing from Lipstick Queen. I don't know why. I just, it's not something I ever been, like steered towards when I went to the stores. But anyway, this was only $3.99 and it's a berry lip liner and I figure why not because it's pretty and why not try it for $3.99. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a gem and end up loving it. Anyway, Lipstick Queen. Y'all can see that. I'm sorry guys, I'm using my cell phone. I don't have a camera yet, so we're working on that. Anyway, very cute, very pretty. It's a sharpened one. Let's swatch this right here for y'all. Right there. Super cute. And I found a gem. It's really creamy, so probably so. Also from Buxom, I own like two things from Buxom. I got them for limp, lip limp. I need to get it together. Lip plumping. Um, it's like a nude color with like the gloss. Anyway, I have only gotten that like once. I just felt like getting it one day. I was in Sephora and I just bought it. But anyway, for Ulta maybe. Anyway, I'm not sure. This one's called Vampy Plum. So again, it's got me written all over it. And it's got this really cool packaging. It's like magnetic. I don't know. That just does something to me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is really pretty vampy. I will say though, I'm really nervous about this stick itself because it's not... It's just that flat. Can y'all see that? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's going to be really tough to apply. I might have to pull out a brush. We'll see. Anyway, very cute still. Really creamy. A little streaky, but really creamy. I feel like buildable though. Anyway, that's the color there. Very cute. Next we got um, a brand I've never bought, can't afford, probably won't anytime soon, but I had to have it. It was only, did I tell you how much that Buxom was? That Buxom was $5.99 in case I didn't tell you. This is Kevin Aquan, the Molten Lip Color by Kevin Aquan, and it was only six bucks, y'all. Six bucks. And again, I know I'm like, like beating a dead horse with these same colors, but couldn't help it oh, y'all so dark and vampy and delicious and I'm really intrigued about this doe foot like look at that can y'all see that weird turn I'm sure y'all all used Kevin Guan I'm probably the only person on the planet that hasn't but anyway I'm really freaking out about this one super excited Is there, did I say the shade have a shade oh yeah it's called carbon anyway that's that shade there and again with this lighting they're all looking the same but that's okay it's mostly just to show you guys the great deals all right and last but not least for the lipsticks i got a vice liquid lipstick i own um one of the vice like tubes um and like a really awesome purple but anyway i can't remember the shade name but uh this is the vice liquid lipstick Super cute, and the box is all jacked up, and this is in the shade Backtalk. I know everyone knows about Backtalk, and if you don't, you live under a rock. I don't have it in the tube, but I saw it in this, and I just had to have it. I even picked one up for a friend for a Secret Santa at our work party. Anyway, very cute. This is only $7.99. Guys, look at that. Is that like the most perfect nude you've ever seen? Yes, very cute. And I love that this matches the, um, the tubes to the like the stick lipstick you guys know what I mean if you guys keep hearing fussing and moving and cats I own six animals plus my parents three animals that live with me right now from them moving in just bear with me I got a cute little kitty down here rolling around everywhere and then you can see peanut back here peanut hey baby that's my sweet baby anyway uh, back to this. I got distracted. Very cute. I don't know. Someone tell me. Is it supposed to be bent like that? Or is it just broken? Maybe that's from Marshalls. You never know. But anyway. Um, can't wait to use that. Let's watch it right here. Oh my god. I melt. I melt. There's the shade there. Oh, so pretty. Can't wait to use that. Okay. There's neighbors working on a roof next door from a, one of the roofs that got blown away in the hurricane and my dogs 
going to start boxing, so I'm sorry. Okay, and the very final thing I got, I'm pretty sure it's the final thing. I might have one more. Anyway, is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Glimmer Palette for $27.99. I looked it up, I think this is like $54 usually, or is it $45 usually? Either way, good deal. Shh. Major. Hush, baby. I told you. Um, anyway, this is the packaging. Super cute. It is a little, little janky. Um, and I opened up, I think, one shade might have been messed with. I'm not sure. But anyway, it wasn't its big plastic box, like, where you can't get into it. So when I went to go check out, I had them open it up so I could look at it first. Um, and, and it didn't look too bad, so I rolled with it. Anyway, the Shade and Light Glimmer Eye Contour Palette. Um, this is the box itself, or the case itself. I don't, I can't speak today. But anyway, this is it right here. This is the back. I really hate when the shades are on the back like that, but it is what it is. I got a good deal on it, and I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise, even though I love Kat Von D. Anyway, so this is the, um, Hold on, I'm sorry. There we go. This is the um, inside of it. Um, and the one I think that might have been messed with is right here. Because I haven't touched these yet, but if you guys can look at that, it kind of looks like it's been swatched a little bit, doesn't it? I'm not sure. I can't tell. But anyway, it looks pretty good so far. Um, I guess I'll do uh, swatches for you guys. So here we go. I didn't think this through, guys. I don't have anything to wipe my hands on. Alright, I'm back. Handy dandy makeup removers. Uh, so far, we're all the way to the white. I might have to go and stand in some sunlight or something somewhere so you guys can actually see these swatches. Uh, anyway. see that <laughs> y'all it's all over all right so and there you go so my christmas tree is still up don't judge me Anyway, that was the whole starting from here to here. Um, that was that whole row there. Oh, but I might be able to use this one as a blush. Other than that, I don't really know what I'd use it for. Because it's really warm and orangey. But anyway. Or even like a transition shade in the crease or something of your eyes. I like that. I thought that was so pretty. I think that one's really pretty. You can't see it on there, but that's okay. And that's the other three. Um, I don't know how much use this side will get, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. Very cute. <clears throat> um, and then the last thing that I have is from Ross as well. And I forgot about it. And I've already opened it up and used it because I couldn't wait. And I will say I wasn't too keen on one of them already, but... That's okay, it's a NYX lingerie. Um, I have a lot of things by NYX, let's be real, but uh, I don't know that I've used the lingerie liquid lipsticks or not. I'm not real sure. I have to go through my lipstick and see. But anyway, this one's $6.99. And you get the color Honeymoon, Satin Ribbon, and Seduction. Sensual Seduction. I'm not going to lose it, y'all. Okay. Anyway, it comes in this little three pack like this. these are the colors now I will say that I was pretty excited about this one I know but I think this is the one that didn't look good on me like that makes 
Let's be sad. I know this is all lipsticks, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's the dope foot. Basic dope foot. You know, I was pretty excited about this one, so I might have to play with it some more, or maybe like put a lighter shade in the middle of this be on the outside, make it like an ombre effect to make it work, but it just didn't, it washed me out, but it's so, I don't know how to explain it. It just didn't look cute. Anyway, that's the shade there. I'm gonna find a way to make it work because it is a really pretty color. The next one is Satin Ribbon. I love this, but again, too light. So probably this color with that other color, like as an ombre, probably really cute. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Anyway, it's really, really, really light nude. That's that color there. So what do you guys think? Maybe making those two go together? Maybe too dramatic? Who knows? Too drastic of a change. Anyway, the last one that did look really cute on me was... Seduction. I guess this is a sensual seduction one. I don't know. <sighs> Very cute. And I will swatch it right there. It's like an orangey brown. Like a red brown. Like, I don't know. Why do I keep putting things like that? My arm doesn't turn that way. <laughs> anyway, that's it right there. And again, the lighting below. But yeah, you guys get the gist. Anyway, very cute. Pack of three, four. $6.99. Now NYX is already affordable, but this just makes it even more affordable. Anyway, so I think that's everything, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the haul, and um, I'll see y'all next time.